houseboat. She needs some love, um, but there is tons of potential. Super excited. It's like 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. Um, Bradley knows where all the switches are, so that's great. Now we're going to unload the van and start to make it home. It's 3 a.m. We have everything loaded on the boat. It's surreal, like super surreal, y'all. Ponce has been an excellent companion. He's been so patient. He definitely knows that some stuff's going down. Yeah, the boat definitely needs more work than I thought. It's just kind of dirty from the mechanics being in and out of it. But we'll just give her some TLC and it's gonna be gorgeous. I know it is. It's just kind of hard to imagine it when it's everything's dark and you can't see anything and it's just kind of going off the light of this little lamp that could use some love too. But we're here. We're finally here. It's happening. It's all happening. It's all happening. So we got in last night about 1.30 in the morning. Loaded all our gear in. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda got a little nervous seeing all the stuff in the boat. I'm wondering what I signed myself up for, but I got renewed energy, but you can see we've got it all piled in right now. Um, but get a good look at it now, because after a little bit, it's not gonna look like this. We're gonna have this thing spit shine and polished up, I guess it's as good as we can for now anyway I'm not gonna take on any renovation projects but but this is it this is the boat with stuff everywhere we've got part of the mechanics that's part of our our um, generator parts the generators out because he's got to change the transmission out in one of the engines tomorrow but in any event you can see we've made it Sitting right here on the river, beautiful shot of the Mississippi, right out of the back of the boat. Got my first mate right here. She's hanging in and doing good. Proud of her. And then there's our second mate. What you say, Ponce? Yeah, there he is. All right, so we made it to Winona with the houseboat, and yet we're still buying stuff and shopping. That conduit's gonna make some sweet fishing rod holders and flag holders. Look at that sunset we're missing on the boat. Right there, it sure is beautiful. Bradley really went haywire. Everything from cornbread, to granola, to Cheez-Its, to beans, to all of your canned goods. I mean, we're pretty much hurricane ready. I mean, in South Louisiana, you have to have hurricane preparedness. So we're just doing that in a form of camping and on a houseboat. So we're stocked. If the power goes out, things get way too real. We're not gonna starve, that's for sure. Look at that cute butt. Man, we got into the marina about 1.30 in the morning. We unpacked for about an hour, so it was about 2.33 in the morning before we got in. We were ready to go to bed. I at least wanted to hook up the water so we could have water and go to the toilet if we need to go to the bathroom. And the first thing I do when I turn on the water is um, water starts flooding out over here across the bottom. So I take a look and I open up the cabinet and I noticed that water is leaking out all the way across the bottom. I figured it was this, I could see water dripping right here. It looked like something may be coming up there, but I wasn't sure if it was just too tight there or not. So we went to the Home Depot store, caught a different, couple different pieces. But then when I got back and we turned it back on, 
You can see right here, and I'll show you, it turned out it's leaking straight through here as well. So see, you can see it just spraying out just really badly. So let's get that cut off. So now we have a first project, a uh, pretty good project. That way we need some water, toilet, everything else. It's pretty important. Well, the reason this shutoff valve works is you hook a water hose straight up to the outside. That's your fresh water supply. So I'm going to try to replace this valve, get it going. So that's just what we were hoping to run into on day one of the of the adventure. And as we're loading all this gear, we've got stuff everywhere, uh, but we have to have water. We got to get it going. So I'm going to try to get this fixed and then move on to the next issue. And now I'm working on getting this shutoff valve off. And I even tried to put this hammer against it so it wouldn't rip it, but I'm worried I'm going to end up cracking and ripping the casing and then have a whole nother issue so i'm going to go outside and see if we can't take it off and pull everything out the exterior of the boat and then put it back together we'll see if that works okay so this is the freshwater supply hookup to the boat uh, essentially anytime you're docked you can run a freshwater line which is essentially kind of a garden hose or water hose and you hook it straight up to the outside of your boat and that's what pulls in all the fresh water to your shower your sinks everything else um, if you're out on a beach or out of dock then you're using a freshwater tank which you have about a 60 gallon 40 gallon freshwater tank so it's great to be able to hook a hose straight up and have unlimited water supply so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this off which of course it's sealed up so something else I don't want to do is have additional intrusion but it's the only way I can get that valve um, turned off to my knowledge without breaking or cracking this and having to change it out anyway. So I'm going to take this off, work on that valve, and see if we can't put it all back together. If you take a look, you can see it's cracked right in the middle of it. So if I can get the right part, we should be good to go and have fresh water. Tuesday, Bradley's at Menards getting a new part for our running water connection. He found a leak in it and it turns out to be a little bit worse than we thought, of course. So we haven't had running water or been able to use the toilet since we arrived on Saturday evening. You don't really realize how much you use the restroom until you don't have one. So that's an interesting concept and thing to think about. So while he's over getting this new part, I'm going to start working on really deep cleaning and organizing. I'm going to start in the cuddy, which is just below, putting on all of our bedding, organizing our clothes. I'm ready to go. It's going to be great. We are going to do it and it's going to be beautiful. Heading down into the cuddy, Ponce is protecting it. Hey bud. Hey. Excuse me. Okay, so you're not gonna move, got it. Coming down these stairs, eventually we're gonna have to replace this carpet, but we have some great little windows looking right out on the front of the boat. Currently we have, this is all the bedding that we have, and I think this is where I'm going to put our little cabinetry that I got. I already have one bed made, I just need to touch it up and I really want to clean, deep clean the walls just so that we know that they're super fresh. So 
So before going to the parts store, I stopped off at the marina to see if they had anything that I may could use. And they actually had another water inlet. And this one is a pressure reducing valve. So it only has a one way flow. So I actually don't need the shutoff valve. So out here with the new fitting, basically I just need to get all of this previous caulking and glue. Put this right back through here like so. Screw it in, reseal it, recalk it. And uh, then hopefully hook my line up and we'll be good to go. Got everything hooked up like it's supposed to be. So now is the moment of truth. We'll go cut the water supply line on. Hopefully nothing uh, spews out or leaks out anywhere. I'm gonna have Margaret stand here and make sure that that doesn't happen. And I'll be right back. Oh, I hear it. No leaking. Was it leaking anywhere? Nope. No leaks? No leaks. Okay, so that's one step. So now, the real test. Ho! We got water! We got water, baby! So, we got one issue down, not one I was planning to work on. I know we got plenty of stuff to work on. Issue number two, where are you? First mill on the grill. Barbecue pit rolling, sitting on the back. Still at the marina, of course. What we got in here? Oh yeah, keeping it simple. Let's see what Margaret's up to. Oh yeah, we still have all our stuff everywhere. Getting it together. Hey, hey, buddy. We got water. Yeah, we do. So the marina is right here, and then right next to the marina is this levee. It rolls straight around to the river with a great view of the bridge and stuff. Uh, but it's been awesome to have this for pots. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, go ahead. It's been awesome to have it for pots so he can run and go to the bathroom, etc. Sit. Mark. Punts. This chair right here has got to go, pulling it out. I'd say it's probably about 90% of the grandmother house type smell. So I think, um, I think I just did a heck of a cleaning job today pulling this thing out. Just got the old carpet up. I'm gonna pull these pads up. You can see it looks like the original wood flooring, uh, which kind of makes me feel good to some of the soft spots. At least um, it's probably more the plywood and not the stringers. Um, so it looks it's in pretty good shape. Uh, definitely feels cleaner. I can already feel how much cleaner and better. Margaret's been over here scrubbing the bathroom. Uh,
Let's get our gloves on. Ready for action. 